Hey folks, Jonathan here. Finally getting ready, ready to start this thing. Uh, <coughs> I sort of, uh, excuse me, I sort of uh, chickened out. Uh, what I did was I made this uh, hand crank. Uh, and I was going to use it to turn it over and start it. But I was having issues on the timing and on the spark timing so I decided against it uh, I don't need a broken arm and uh, so I've got a motor set up here and now the problem is is I hold the exhaust valve open get it spinning but as soon as it hits compression it's killing the motor but I'm hoping it's gonna go over enough to uh, to start it because all we gotta do is get one rotation past the uh, impulse on the magneto and uh, but we're going to try it either way. Uh, for anybody that hasn't uh, kept up with the build, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more people watching this and will you know, watch the build, uh, I'm going to explain to you what I got here. Uh, I started out with a B29 APU cylinder off of, uh, well, it was a B29 Super Fortress, but it was the actual generator uh, that goes inside. It's a V2 generator. So I bought a cylinder, and that's all I bought was just, well, actually two cylinders, but I didn't have anything else for it. Uh, bought a Yamaha 250 crankshaft, a Yamaha 225 four-stroke piston. Now the, the crankshaft's for a two-stroke. And uh, let me see, built the, the engine case and uh, out of, of course, drew it out on paper, uh, built it out of wood, and then cast it out of aluminum. Uh, there's a lot of parts and pieces from different stuff and the intake manifold's part of a uh, seat frame from under a, I think it was a van. The exhaust is actually the handle off an old pressure washer part of it. And rocker arms are half the original for the cylinder and half case tractor, uh, DC I believe. Magneto is just one I picked up uh, off eBay, redone. I've temporarily got a uh, condenser there and let me see built this last uh, this is actually just a uh, lug wrench and turned this out the center is more a lug wrench put a grease fitting on it or actually a grease cup and uh, let me see Briggs and Stratton cams FH uh, Case tractor piston, I mean uh, push rods, and, and these are lifters. These are actually the top off the push rod I cut off and put down here. And made the rocker stand. And uh, carburetor is a Jawa, made in Czechoslovakia. Uh, well, the motorcycles were. That carburetor was actually made in uh, China. It's a, just a cheap $30 carburetor. I like the old look of it. Uh, and I believe that's about it and you know just a bunch of parts and, and you know the the case is actually made out of pistons uh, that I melted down and just poured into a sand mold and uh, you can see my initials at the bottom there and then the USA so and the pistons was actually Chevrolet Ford and Dodge pistons mixed together so got a little bit of everything there but uh, air cleaner came from India that's just uh, for a Villers and I had to make some stuff for the Magneto you can go back and look in the videos and see that if you'd like. Uh, I had a YouTube subscriber donate the plug wire and the ends, so we got that. And uh, I'm just waiting on some gas. I uh, don't have any gas at all, and my son went to pick some up. So uh, we're going to try it and see how it does. If it don't work out, this motor is no good. And it's no good in that it won't start itself. I've got to spin it to start it and it's a third horsepower and like I said it, it's not really strong enough to turn the motor over but we're going to try to do it hold the exhaust valve open let it off and see if we can get some pop out of it or something maybe we can uh, figure out what the uh, figure out the time get the timing right on it because uh, I've worked on it worked on it worked on it trying to get it right and I'm just having some trouble because of that mag magneto if I was running a uh, excuse me if I was running a uh, set of points in a uh, you know battery battery ignition it wouldn't be so bad and uh for anybody that don't know when you bought an old bike back then you either it came two ways it came battery ignition or it came magneto and i like the magneto because it's all self-contained 
back then you'd have to buy dry cell batteries and uh, they claimed they'd last for a long time you know half a season or a full season uh, but you know I didn't want to go with no rechargeable or nothing like that so uh, I really wanted to go completely self-contained so we are going to pour some gas in it and just see what happens and uh, you know this is uh, it's about six months of work you know on and off at night and you know on rainy days and stuff so uh, let's hope it hope it takes off now uh, the impulse coupler on this magneto is really strong and you can hear it bad especially when I'm turning it over and it almost sounds like a knock but if I trip it and take there's a little lever on it where I can take the the uh, impulse coupler to where it's not activating when I take it loose it don't uh, don't make any noise at all so it's definitely the impulse coupler it's just a it's just strong as can be I've never never had one that was that strong but anyway uh, I haven't drilled the holes for the vents yet so we're just gonna leave this a little loose and let it leak past so I think we're all right we don't want to pressurize the crankcase and blow any seals out or anything uh, anyway as soon as the gas gets here we're gonna pour it in the tank and uh, we'll film it trying to get it started all right show you more It's always good enough for you guys to see what that that's an engine and that's a motor and that's a human being in front of you. This actually is a this is a motor. This is not an engine. They call these explosion motors. Explosion motor. That's what it was called in the uh, early 1900s. It was an explosion motor. Hopefully it'll explode. All right, buddy. Whenever you're ready, you get that clip back on. Yeah. Not a problem, Randy. I hope none of them's in a big hurry. <laughs> he said he hopes none of you are in a big hurry.
Take it out too loose. Yeah. Yeah, the backfire is all part of the timing not being right. We're actually having a hard time with this one for some reason. You want to do that? What? Make a hinge <laughs> on that big motor. Yeah, let's uh. Sorry everybody, I'm sorry. Apologize. Let them know that we're going to regroup here. You want me to end it and come back? Probably end it and come back because it's going to be a little bit. Yeah, some people are going to say they want to just sit here and wait. Well, if that's what they want to do, tell them what we're going to do. It's just going to be long and boring. Okay, folks, uh, done a little bit of playing with it. Uh, somehow, some way, I don't know what happened or how it happened, I've definitely got my intake valve cam off one tooth. And I'm not sure how I done it, If I, when I pulled that down and fixed the crank or what. Anyway, I'm gonna change it, but I do have it running started and going and uh, played with it a little bit. I thought I had a bunch of blow by. I didn't have the holes drilled in my oil cap and it turns out it was just vapor coming out I, i've drilled the holes and put it back on and that's doing just fine now i am leaking around this uh valve guide or lifter guide which i knew it was going to like a screw shook out there but uh i knew it was going to or i had a feeling it was going to if you remember right that's where all the oil was coming in through the block so uh the problem is is these guides i actually uh, used a reamer and went 5 16 
And these lifters are 5 16ths also, but they're not machine 5 16ths. And so they're not exactly perfect. And so that's allowing that to, to leak a little. And what I may do is make a new lifter guide, make it taller and go inside and put an O-ring groove. I may run an O-ring in it. I'll figure something out. I don't want to put any valve uh, seals here. I might can put them on the bottom, you know, something a little different, but I'm not too worried about that. We'll get that uh, in no hurry. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up one more time. It's cold as can be. I had to go on a wreck, so it's been a little while since I've started it. So we'll see how it starts. Uh, I'm still starting it with the motor. And let me see if I can get you set up on the camera. I've got my new camera, so of course it's not picking up as good. I haven't started a cold yet, so I'm not sure if I need to choke it or what I need to do. So. Well, there you go a lot better than it was and we'll keep playing with it until we get everything figured out on it shouldn't take too long but I uh, appreciate everybody watching and uh, appreciate everybody that watched the build especially from start to finish and uh, we're gonna call it quits on it for now but we'll do more later on but uh, got a lot of other stuff I need to get to so thanks for watching and until uh, next time bye